Hey, hey, my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm Suki. Now, if you do, thanks for returning. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so anytime I do new upload, yes, you'll be the first person to know. Y'all, we is here with these blonde brows. We is here with this blonde wig, and we is here with a new product to go on the face. A complexion video. Yes, complexion video again. I'm giving y'all another one. Yes, I'm giving y'all another one. So, if you guys really, really want to see how I work on my skin tone and on my skin type and what item I do have for you guys today. And you want to be here with your girl? Stay tuned. Keep on watching. Get straight into this video. Hey, my pretty so i went to yes i went to sephora you guys got a gift yes i did and i want to share it with you guys yes so let's just go ahead and see what this is so i did grab two products you guys this is the kvd good apple foundation and also the kdv lock it primer yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right so here's the first product i did pick up so we have the KVD Lock It Pore Reflecting Primer. It is one fluid ounce. Minimize the looks of pores instantly, plus over time. Hydrating, blurring makeup infused with rice water, green lentil. That is what's supposed to be in it. I'm not really seeing the shelf life on here. I'm not really okay so the shelf life is six months so let's just go ahead and take this out of the package this is what it looks like from far you guys really pretty really sleek it looks very expensive all right y'all so what we're gonna do right here now is just go ahead and zoom in and get started with the actual primer all right so again that's what it looks like let's go ahead and put this on the face you guys I'm hoping that it does what it claims. It does pea size them out like this. Um, go ahead and blur my face because I like a blurred face for makeup. And I did do my regular face routine as I always do. And I did also go on with the Woe Glow Touchable by e.l.f. Which is a SPF and a primer at the same time. So keep that in mind. Alright, I'm not getting that, no blurring smoothing effect from it honestly yet. We'll see we will see we will see i want my makeup to be smooth i want it to be you know flawless i'm not really seeing a difference quite yet but let's go ahead and stop right here you guys you guys already know you can see i did my brows they are blonde i will have a video up on tiktok on that if you guys want to see how i did achieve the blonde brows the ombre i guess blonde brows don't judge me it was my very first time and I like the song my very first time, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking at it. I can kind of see that it did uh, minimize my pores, uh, which is very, very nice. But let's go ahead and get into the next product while we're here. Alright, you guys, so here is the next product I did pick up. So this one is the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. It is 1.01 fluid ounce, okay? So it's a little it's a it's a little bit more than an ounce which is good the shelf life is 12 months which is amazing it says lightweight all day wear transfer resistant it says transfer resistant mm -hmm. leaf extract to help mattify it says shake well before use recyclable bottle plus cap which is nice so it's recyclable didn't i've never read that on any of the you know on the products so i did get the shade tan 074 um let's go ahead and take her out the package all right you guys so here it is so i do have something to say so when i went to go and um, purchase this i did get a shade that i felt like was my perfect shade then I tried it on went outside and it was really really dark so this product does oxidize I can tell you that much before I even put it on it does oxidize 
So let's go ahead and zoom in and get all the way in to this product. All right, you guys, I hope that's good. So let's give her a good sh shake. Oh, and I do want to show you guys the good apple, the other good apple foundation that I do, do have. So here is the other good apple bomb foundation. I use this one, you guys. This one is pretty dark. This one is 10074. This one, this one is 10078. And then the one I just purchased is 10074. So that speaks volumes. Like you guys can clearly see the difference. Let's go ahead and swatch it, matter of fact. And the consistency is really thick on this one. I really do like it. And you can clearly see it. Like this is the shade that I picked up at first. Looks really pretty, right? And I don't think the bomb oxidizes. Let's go ahead and squirt this on the back of the hand for the first time. Look at that one. The color is so different. Like, look at that. Compared to this one. Like, super different. But this one oxidizes, so the color is going to change. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this side of the face. You guys can see I do have some blemishes that are there. They're there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do one pump. That is one pump. And I'm going to use my Morphe E63 brush to blend this into the skin. So it's supposed to be a full coverage foundation. Like, see, I feel like it's too light. That is way too light for me. Maybe I should have stuck with the other shade. <laughs> well, let's just give it a chance because this full coverage. It is giving me full coverage which I do love. So if I have to go back and get the shade I initially did grab, I'd rather have a dark foundation than a light Cassie foundation. So you can clearly see that's one application. Let's go ahead and go on with another one. One more pump. Like it doesn't look bad. It's just, I feel like it's too light for me. The other one was way too dark so I probably have to get the other one and probably mix the two together so yeah that's what it looks like you guys can clearly see the difference really big difference let's not think about the color you guys just think about the coverage the coverage is really amazing like really really nice I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back all right you guys so I just finished it I feel like it it did oxidize like I said we'll see I'll give it another two or three minutes but it did kind of oxidize like I did say but when I first put it on and let's just blend it down the neck it looks it doesn't look bad at all like it's not the worst color but it's not the best color either so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera finish up the rest of my face and come back and let you guys see the final results all right, so I did go ahead and go on with some Anastasia um, concealers, and it's working very well with other products. I can say that much, you guys. So it's looking really pretty, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the face and give you guys my final results and my final thoughts. All right, my pretty. so this is the final look going in with the KVD Good Apple Foundation and also their primer, you guys. I think it worked really, really well with all these other products. Um... It did oxidize and I was scared that it would not oxidize enough but it oxidized just to the point where your girl can look nice and bronzy you know what I'm saying like yeah all right so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out and tell you guys what I think about these items all right you guys so my thoughts on both items now the primer um it's not worth the money but it's okay if you love their products but it's not my one of my favorites but it could be like maybe my third or fourth favorite it's not that bad it does do what it says i do love that um but it's a little pricey and then the foundation i really really love the coverage but for me i feel like i need to get a shade darker and keep both items and mix them together so i get my perfect shade but that's just what i think that's just my personal preference but i can say it is very full coverage and it does work well with other products which is really nice because a lot of products does not work well with other products. A lot of products want to work only well with what the product is that you're using and only that. 
you know that brand but this worked out really really good you guys and here it is from afar and i hate that i got makeup in my hair i think it's really gorgeous really really pretty so if you guys really enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i love you guys till next time Bye bye